Our nightly Streets of Shame series highlights the homeless crisis here in Southern California. And this week, federal officials came out from the nation's capital to firsthand take a look at a, well, a crisis that has generated national attention. Well, now someone else says that crisis led him to travel across the country to help clean up as well. NBC4's John Caddy's Kleemack is in Van Nuys with a story. Well, we came out to Van Nuys today because we wanted to show you this encampment, which we've actually been to before. The NBC4 I team was here not too long ago, trying to understand how this encampment could get so large. Come to find out, this is federal property. The Army Corps of Engineers owns this land. It's fenced in, and it has become a home for quite a few homeless people. This place here has been great. Robert Williams says he's been here for four months, and he's never seen a cleanup crew here. It's federal land, but leased to the city of L.A., and the city hasn't returned our calls to explain why they haven't cleaned this up. But the most important thing, the germs, the flies. He says he knows the health hazards that exist, and this weekend he wants to help someone who plans to clear all this out. I was inspired. Scott Pressler is from the Baltimore area. Calls himself a conservative activist, but he says this cleanup tomorrow in Van Nuys is not political. I've never seen so much homelessness in my entire life. Okay, guys, it's 6.30, and another shift of volunteers is out here. He used his social media influence with hundreds of thousands of followers to get close to 200 volunteers to clean up garbage in West Baltimore last month. He says a follower from L.A. saw the post and suggested he come here. And now we are trying to expose the crisis here in California. I've been blessed with such a large social media following. I feel a responsibility that... What does it mean having all these followers, all these likes, all these retweets, unless I'm using it to do something good? Volunteers can sign up through his Twitter page. More than 100 already have. Those who live here tell us that they are welcoming this cleanup. They say that the city's efforts are misguided, but this one, they say, they think can actually keep this place clean. In Van Nuys, I'm John Cavies Kleemack, NBC4 News. NBC4 is committed to covering the homeless crisis, and if you have a story idea, we'd like to hear about it. Just send an email to tips at NBCLA.com.